K Payne with Getty Down Radio, and I am here with Yuck Mouth from the Loonies. How are you? I'm Gucci. Burn it down. What you doing What's over up? there? Hey, <laughs> just burn it shit down. You know what I mean? <laughs> celebrate. You know? Oh, here, the camera. Right you right celebrating? Here. Celebrate. It's my birthday, so you celebrate. Puff for me, too. Thank you, Billy. Definitely right. smoking for you. Where, where you at? In Indianapolis? Indianapolis? Um, I'm in AZ right now, but that's where my hometown is. Okay, that's what's up, man. AZ is popping hot in the motherfucker. Enjoy the weather. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Where are you residing at, and where are you from? Well, I'm from Oakland, but I'm in LA right now. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. Straight. And you want yeah. to tell the viewers about yourself, Mr. Yuck Mouth? Um, shit, what you want to know about? All right, <laughs> so they, if they don't know about you, you were in a group, former group by the name of Loonies, and yes. they had a hit song by the name of what? You want to tell them? I, yeah, you see the flags in the background, you know, definitely, man. Uh, we, we came up, you know, I came up with a group called the Loonies. Uh, we made the, the hit I got five on it. We also made uh, Ice Cream Man. You know, that was our street hit before we made five on it. Um, and then I branched off to a solo career, signed to rap a lot, um, and started doing my solo thing. You know, one of my classic albums that everybody liked is Thugged Out the Avalation, which is certified platinum. You know, it's just straight from the streets. You know, no big hit single or none of that. So shout out to fans who support Yuck Mouth to this day. You did. Yes, sir. So tell me what. I got five on it, me. You see what I'm doing? Um, basically, um, five on it, me pitching in. You know, back in the day when we was just young, everybody was broke, so we all had to pitch in. You know, you get a 20 sack, you know, so four niggas pitch in five dollars to get a 20 sack. You know what I mean? Period. So that's how we used to do it when we was young. And then we was teenagers. We weren't grown, so we had to, you know, pitch in our allowance, our hustle money. You know, to get the fucking weed. So shit, that's what happened. We pitched in five, so we made a song about it. You know what I mean? So. Because at the time, at the time, everybody was talking about getting high, but they didn't talk about what it took to get high. You that's know what I mean? Right. So me and them just wanted to come to a, a different level with it. You know, it take money to get high. End of the day, whether it's five or a hundred dollars, fifty dollars, whatever you're spending on your bag, that shit costs money. So we wanted to put it out there. That shit, you know. We was coming from a street level, you know what I mean? We was pitching in five, so that's where it come from. Okay. So do you have uh, any projects you want to tell the viewers about? Oh, definitely. Uh, my new project, JJ Based on the Ville Story, just dropped uh, uh, January the 13th, a week ago, literally. You know what I mean? And uh, shit, I've been getting rave, rave reviews, everybody loving the shit, you know what I mean? And, uh, my fans was on my head for a minute, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you gotta take it back to that old school, yuck. Yeah. You gotta take it back to that Godzilla thugged out, yuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I did exactly that, you know what I mean? Just listen to my fans and I had to really go back and listen to my old shit, you know what I mean? And really tap in with my old style, you know what I mean? Because I got lost, I, I admit, I fell off. I started rapping like other niggas, doing music like other niggas, thinking that, you know, this is the shit that's gonna get on the radio. This is the shit that the young boys is listening to. Fuck what they listening to. Do you. Do what the fans love you for. So that's what I had to take it back to. So JJ based on the Bill Story part one. It's a two part album. The next part dropping uh, next month, February. Um, but uh, basically the part one is out. It's featuring uh, Sebo, uh, Lil Flip, Big Mike from the Ghetto Boys, uh, a TQ, uh, Compton Menace, uh, da, 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 da. Mitchie Slick, um, Pool Man, G Stack, them two dudes both from my neighborhood. Um, Al Pacino, Young Noble from the Outlaws. You know, just just to name a few, man. It's a nice album. Wow, oh, I have to get that album. Absolutely. 
We'll send you a copy, definitely. All right, JR, send you a copy. Shout out to JR for linking this up. Absolutely, he rocks. Yeah, um, definitely, he's great. So, tell me what's the difference between the music from then and now then? Uh, I call, I call back in the day when we came in the game, the golden era, you know what I mean? Because that's when dudes were selling 10 million albums, you know what I mean? Dudes ain't selling 10 million albums right now. It's impossible. You know what I mean? Unless you like a pop artist or some shit like that. So rappers used to do them numbers. You know what I mean? Shout out Eminem. You know, shout out 50. Shout out Tupac. You know what I mean? Shout out Biggie. You know, and so on and so on. Dr. Dre. You know what I mean? Do them tens and fives and threes. It's hard for a motherfucker to go gold now. All promotion and big machine behind you. You know what I mean? So it's a difference, you know what I mean? And then, back in the day, you used to understand, I mean, you used to be able to uh, know who, 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 who was who. Everybody was different, you know what I mean? Everybody had a different sound, like the Wu-Tang. You knew RZA made all their beats because it all sounded the same. Uh, Master P, you know, you knew uh, KFC made all their beats to sound the same. Uh, Cash Money, you know what I mean? You knew Manny Fresh made all their beats to sound the same. Death Row. Dre made all their beats to sound the same, and so on and so on and so on. Compared to now, you know, everybody doing the same beats and rapping the same and sound the same. It's hard to, uh, you know, tell who's who, you know. So the difference from back in the day and now, we used to sell way more albums and we had our own identity compared to now. Everybody just following everybody away, you know? Yeah. So what's going on? Did you vote for Trump? Fuck no. You don't cut it out. <laughs> Why not? Why you vote for Trump? I ain't vote for neither. Period. Oh. They both. Uh, I thought they both was bullshit. So I ain't vote for neither. Period. Okay. So tell me. You said that it's a difference between now and then. You know, because of records and it's hard to get gold and everybody sound different. And so, with that being said. The young community this time and age, do you think this is a difference between the so the society now, then and now as well? You gotta request you gotta rephrase that question. That was dope. But do you gotta say that again? Like what you what so you say? You, like, so what do you think? Society is different from then and now? The the young crowd, the African American men, the young women, the the, you said the music, so do you think society's different now? Is that what it is? Do you think the character of the people has changed? Do you think music has changed? So, what is it? You said it all. That shit all without me even saying the answer. Everything has changed, definitely. I think with uh, Obama, you know, when he got in office, it, it, it created this uh, racial stigma in America. You know what I mean? People start, you know, hating on African American or, you know, what I mean, minorities or whatever, whether it be Latino or Asian or whatever, Mexican. You know, the, the tension was there. You know what I mean? And then now they got Trump, and the tension is at an all time fucking high. You know what I mean? So it it is it, just there right now. And why do you right, think right, it's an all time right. high tension? Then that's absolutely what I was getting to. Why? Because at the end of the day, you got dudes, you know, at, at I mean, we'd have had a million president uh, rallies, you know what I mean, and presidential campaigns with, with white presidents. You know, you've never been there where, where, you know, a black young lady will get beat up by the crowd, you know what I mean? Shout out to you, you know what I mean? You'll never be there where, where black people are getting, you know, beat up in a crowd and then escorted out like they were the, the criminals, you know what I mean? So. You know, we had Clinton, we had Bush, we had Reagan. That shit has never happened until Donald Trump came in office. So it's a big fucking difference. You know what I mean? Definitely. So he, 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 he's stirring that racial pot to me. You know what I mean? I don't know how you feel about it, but I think he's stirring that racial pot, period. That's my opinion. Absolutely. I, I, I do think, I don't comment too much on it, but I do think that people are more flamboyant now than they were before about their racism and segregation. I but at the end of the day, everybody is racist, you know what I mean, period. Let, let's let's get to the point. Everybody is racist. Hey, I wouldn't even say racist. Everybody don't like certain motherfuckers, you know what I mean, period. Hands down. You'll see a bitch from another neighborhood be like, fuck you. 
a nigga to see a nigga that's the blood of, you know what I mean? An enemy neighborhood be like, fuck you, is that racism? Or is that I don't fuck with you? You know what I mean? White people, if they ain't came from that environment, if they come from a, a, a good environment and they see, you know, dudes that got gang bang ties or whatever, tattoos and shit, they're gonna be scared. They don't fuck with that. Same with us. If we in a fucking hit town and we see a gang of motherfucking tatted up bikers with bald heads and shit, hell, uh, hell's angels, we gonna, we gonna feel uncomfortable. We gonna be like, man, let me bust a U-turn and get the fuck out this town. Period. So that's how they feel. Everybody got their own prejudice towards danger. They don't feel like that towards every black motherfucker. It's the dangerous black people. We don't feel like that towards every white person. It's the dangerous white per- people. We don't feel like that towards every Mexican. It's the motherfucking gangbang about those that we feel like it towards. So at the end of the day, everybody had a re- re- racism and stereotypes. You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? You just gotta call it what it is, a spade for a spade. I just don't fuck with them type of people. And I feel like, you know, it fucked up in them environments. Everybody got a situation where they can name that, not just white people. So you gotta, you know, look in the mirror when you say that shit about white people, you know what I mean? Well, tell me this. Do you feel like, is it more of a Black Lives Matter or All Lives Matter? Oh, uh, I don't even care about all that matter shit. We all human beings, that matter. You know what I mean? All that different white, black, we all fucking human, period. Straight up, we all got the same organs and shit. We all got the, I mean, let's be fucking real, man. Like, I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. I have my family white. I got a white mother-in-law, a white father-in-law, my wife half white, my kids half white, my sister half white. I mean, the list goes on and on. I got uncles that marry white, you know, my auntie white, my, my, my cousin's half white, and so on and so on. So what do you say when you do a, 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 a racial revolution and you like black power and all the black people gather up? What of them have black and white people? What are they going to do? What side are they going to go on? So you really are saying stupid shit, you know what I mean, period, because you're going to exile out a whole population of have black people by saying only black, only this, only that, black lives matter. What about the half white? What about the half Mexican and black? What about the half Asian and black? You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you gotta think outside the box and quit just like singling us. It's, it's more than us, it's humanity. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm at with it. I don't do the bullshit, man. Period. That's right. Good. Absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. Is there anything? I know California has had earthquakes. They've had all kinds of things corrupted that happen in California. What keeps you there? It's good ass weed. <laughs> yeah, it's good ass weed. And it's good ass weather, man. I could take a little rumble, chumble, whatever, every so now and then. You know what I mean? I cannot <laughs> take no fucking snow. I cannot take no tornadoes, no hurricanes, no none of that shit. So, yeah, I can have that. I'm in the sun. It's good weather, these palm trees, good beaches and shit, you know what I mean? These beautiful women, this good ass weed, man. That's why I'm here, man. Period. Okay. So you're I, that's a chance anyway. So, I love Cali. So you a family man? Definitely. You see I'm in the house right now. I ain't out about. Okay. I'm in the with my kids, man. I'm about to hit the gym after this. But uh, definitely in the, in the crib with the kids, man. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Straight up. I don't do that old hangout shit, man. I'm an OG. Period. I can see that too. I like that in you. When so how old are you? When's your birthday? Hey. Easy. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Now 42. Period. OG. Official OG. 42. You know what I mean? If 40's a new 30, I'm 32. All right. You know what I mean? You look up. good. You look <laughs> good. That's hey, all right. Now I look like I'm 42, man. I had to tell you that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I still get parted every fucking day, man. They think I'm a teenager around this bitch. <laughs> Straight up. But uh, you know what I mean? You know, black people are age well. Definitely. You have. I, I, and I think that I wanted to tell you congratulations on your success. I am so Thank proud you. of you. You have accomplished a lot. Yeah, you took a break. But you have accomplished more than others have ever have and dreamed to have. So, congratulations on that. And do you have any shout outs and give us um, any social media of yours? Uh, 
actually, man, shout out to all the fans, man. Like you said, man, I, I came in the game in 1993, and it held me down for like a million years, man. So without the fans and the loonies, you know what I mean? The regime, everything I done brought to the table, you know what I mean? United Ghetto Series with Mac Dre and so on and so on. The Thug Lords, me and Sebo. You know, just holding down everything I done brought to the table, man. Very, just shout out to all the fans. Shout out to you for the interview. You know what I mean? And uh, the social networks is uh, my IG is Regime General. Uh, my Twitter is The Real Yuck Mouth, T H A Real Yuck Mouth. And my website is smokealotrecords.com. Tap in, you'll get all the merchandise, all the show dates, all the new albums, all the new shit. Everything about the kid on smokealotrecords.com. That's what's up. I have a question, too. What's up with these beefs? You beefing with somebody? Who you beefing with? I ain't beefing with nobody. Who told you that? I'm just asking. I was just trying to investigate, and then I was trying to see it was all kind of beefs on the internet, so I was just wondering what was true and what was fake. Nah, man. Uh, back in the day, you know, I had a little beef with the G-Unit of the game, all types of people, Master P, Too Short, everybody, man. I, I was a beef king. You know what I mean? I was on Beef 3, the documentary, you know what I mean? It's documented, you know what I mean? I went to war with niggas, you know, just coming up in the game. It's called competition, you know? In this rap game, it's a lot of competition, man, and everybody's competing to be the best. So that's all I call that was. I mean, that's all I call that. It never was no real street shit, you know what I mean? It was just all, you know, just, just bars and, and kill each other, period. It's just, just murder and shit, so. You know what I mean? I had, to, I had to spar against the best. You know what I mean? To compete with the best and to be with the best. You know what I mean? And when your album starts selling, you know what I mean? And you get the, the shit on your wall behind me, all the shit behind me. You know what I mean? You, you, you know, you become a part of the conversation that, that's in the big crowd. And you become a target. You know what I mean? So I became a target a few times and I had to defend myself. So that's all that was. But being a big man, you know, being game don't got beef no more. Being Master P don't got beef no more. Uh, you see, I got Count Minutes on my album. We ain't got beef no more. Um, and so on and so on, man. I'm a grown man right now, man. That shit was old school over 10 years ago. You know, it's fun, but, you know, we grown up right now. You dig? Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you so much for taking the time out to do this interview with us, okay? Um, please yep, make sure yep. we get that music, okay? No, AJ, it's on the Bill Story Part 1 iTunes and all the motherfucking shit, Amazon, Spotify, all that shit at your motherfucking local stores and moms and pops. If you don't got it, go get it at smokealotrecords.com and get ready for that motherfucking part two next month, nigga. Y'all think that part one is a classic. Watch this part two, nigga. You know what I mean? I ain't giving these niggas no rest this shit, nigga, period. After that, I'm coming with another one. You know, my book dropping this summer, nigga, based on a real story. And I'm doing a movie after that. So it's going to be a long motherfucking year for you niggas, man. Get up, man. Thank you, baby. Appreciate Thank the you. love. You make back. sure we get all that firsthand. You rock. I appreciate you. Have a good one. You too. Keep smoking. Yarra. <laughs> smoke a lot. This is uncivilized, baby. You should do the same. Yarra. Bye. Bye. Thank you.